This business is a history of our family. It's in our DNA. My wife's great-great-grandfather in 1860 in Brooklyn, New York with his son Todd and a shed behind their house started the Wilson Wahan and Lock Company. In 1926, Wilson Wahan and Toy brought the Lock Company to Marion, Ohio. We're a 165-year-old family business, seven generations, and we're 100% American made. We're a 40,000 square foot facility with about 70 employees, making product that's used all over the world. We make brass keyed padlocks. Well, some of the challenges we were facing, our old robot was you know, 20 plus years old, um, an outdated system. It had a lot of flaws in the mechanical side of it and electrical side of it. So a lot of times we would only get um, 60, 50% production out of the machine, so it was really killing our production rates. We had a lot of labor involved. We had five people polishing every day just to keep up with the old system. So every day for all three shifts, they were sitting there polishing by hand. And so that's where we were backed by our employees for this automation, because it's a very tedious task. When we were looking for a partner um, to go through this process with, we found Acme at a couple of trade shows and through the communication with the family environment, uh, Acme matched the family environment here at WB. So it was a perfect fit for us to team up with them. Acme is a machine tool company that's been around for 115 years. Everything that we do is material removal related, which would be buffing, polishing, grinding, and deburring. Uh, in the mid 80s, we started to integrate robotic finishing systems and we selected FANUC as our, as our ecosystem partner. And uh, we've had a great, a great run with FANUC, almost 4,000 robots since 1985. They're the largest industrial robot manufacturer in the world, and there's a reason for it. And we like to work with number one with any product that goes into a system that we integrate. Wilson Bohannon had an existing system. Their challenge was to double production. That was the challenge that was laid out by their direction on it. So they came to Acme and we had a solution that enabled them to do that. When we invert robots, we generally are using a short arm. In this case, the padlock finishing system is ideal for an M10 short arm, and it makes the cell compact. I didn't even know this short arm robot existed. The speed of that is phenomenal. The payload is way better than what we're used to. So this was a perfect choice for us. Our size restriction was very tight. When we were moving it, we had one inch to, to pick it up off the skates and set it down into place. It was very impressive. I pushed hard for FANUC because that's what I was trained in. I was trained at Ohio State and Marion Tech to work on these robots. All of the other machines in our shop are FANUC. I really wanted to, to continue to work with FANUC. The programming language is much simpler. It's just a better product all the way around. Our old cell, we were getting about 1,500 to 1,800 locks per eight hour shift. With the new cell, we were reaching over 5,000 locks per shift. Their uptime is, is much greater because you don't have tooling changeover. Whereas before it would be two to three minutes per gripper change, whereas with the Acme, you just enable a new program. The time that goes into making a product is evolving. It's constantly improving what you do. It's constantly thinking about how can we make a better product? And you do it through automation. Automation gives us the consistency. The first product in the day to the last product in the day. 